Hey friends, welcome to CreativeX. My name is Brad Hussey, I'm a web designer, and today we're gonna to be building an e-commerce website in EditorX with no code, drag and drop, but here's the, the extra cool part. We're gonna be using AI to augment the entire process, from coming up with the idea, to the content, to the product lists, to the product descriptions, heck, even SEO descriptions for titles and everything like that. We're gonna be using AI to help that whole process. Now, I've had some comments from you saying, hey, ChatGPT, likes to plagiarize a little bit, so make sure you check that out. So we're gonna make sure we do that. Also, we're gonna be using Midjourney to come up with some concepts. I got some cool co uh, comments from you guys on how to get the most out of Midjourney to create more, uh, better results. And then we're gonna be using these ideas, these images, and this content, sitemap. We're gonna be bringing it over into EditorX, building out an actual e-commerce site based on this content that we collaborated with AI to create. So let's do that right now. All right, so the idea I wanna run with is a whiskey brand, a website that sells whiskey and whiskey products. I mean, <laughs> you can choose whatever you want, but that's what I'm running with here. So I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to create sitemap for a whiskey e-commerce website. All right, so here's the sitemap that it came up on the first pass. We got home about shop, we got a list of whiskeys, accessories, blog, contact my account, sign up, sign up, login, order history, personal info, FAQ, shipping, returns, payment, privacy in terms. Like this is, it nailed it on the first pass. This is great. If you just need an idea of your sitemap, like boom, there it is. Now I wanna refine this. What's great about ChatGPT is it's conversational. You could be like, hey, like take this out. I don't want this. We only do this. So I don't want to be selling Scotch, Irish, Bourbon, Japanese, Canadian rye, and other whiskeys. That's just a surefire way to make a whole bunch of bad whiskey. Just pick one and run with it. So let's just tell ChatGPT we only do Canadian rye. All right, so ChatGPT is now spitting out and generating a sitemap based on what I just said. So let's see what it is. In that case, revised sitemap, home about shop, Canadian rye whiskeys by region, distillery, and age. Very cool, so it's giving us ways to organize our products, very cool. Accessories, glassware, bar tools, books. Sweet, so if you're a whiskey brand and you're selling not just your spirits that you're creating and, and distilling, but you know you also wanna make income on other things like accessories, great. I have another idea. So what's another way that we can monetize our whiskey brand? Heck, let's, uh, let's ask ChatGPT. I have an idea, but let's see what it does. <laughs> Here we go, so it's, it's basically taking the ideas that I already had in my head and we can run with this. So, and coming up with new ones that I didn't even think of. So selling merchandise, that's obvious, it's already in the sitemap. Offer tasting events, yes. So you could host tasting events. So you can do that as a fee. You can prepackage your whiskeys as taste testers and you could sell that. That's brilliant. Subscription service, never even thought of that. The option to subscribe to a monthly delivery of your whiskey. A membership program, very cool. Sell cocktails or mixers. Um, okay, I mean, sure, license your brand. This is if you wanted to do something like license it out and expand your your uh, empire. But I was thinking more of tasting events. That was more of what I was thinking. If you're local, local distillery, cool. Let's run with that. All right, so here's our revised sitemap. We now have tasting events. Now what I'm gonna do here, since we've got the top level sitemap, is copy this out, paste it in an e-commerce document here. Now, quick pro tip, eventually Notion's coming out with its own AI integration. So I won't even need to go from ChatGPT to Notion. I could just be straight in Notion and say, give me a sitemap for a whiskey e-commerce site. Boom, it's right here. Copy and paste, eliminate it. Wow, saved us four seconds. All right, so here we got the top level a top level sitemap. Now, what I could do is I can now organize this and say we need to some, create some content for this site map. Okay, so let's start off with our homepage. Let's create some really quick, basic copy for the homepage. All right, so it came up with some copy on first pass. Now, I wouldn't recommend just copying and pasting and just Bob's your uncle. I don't think it's as simple as that because who knows how original this content is. Maybe it just swiped it off of something else. I'm not quite sure. But uh, what we can do is verify, first of all, if this is even that original. Probably the best first thing to do is look at it and go, is that how I would say it? You know, use this as inspiration, change things up. Maybe you go like, hey, I never thought of using that phrase. Let's, let's rework it with just that phrase. You can also ask ChatGPT to come up with variations. So I'm just gonna copy this for now. And um, actually, you know what? Before I do that, we need a name. We need a whiskey brand name. All right, so it's got some names coming up here. We got Copper Ridge, Whiskey Peak, Rye Summit, Wildflower Whiskey. That's cool. Maple Oak, Timber Trail, North Star Whiskey, Mountaintop, Old North, Wolf Creek. I mean, these are these are pretty cool. These are pretty cool. Um, let's go with the. Hmm. You know, what? I'm gonna call it Wild Rose Whiskey. 
you know, I, it's not on the list, but Wildflower Whiskey made me think of Wild Rose. Wild Rose Whiskey, I'm not sure if that's already a brand, but we're gonna run with it, okay? So let's create some copy for the homepage with the name Wild Rose Whiskey. All right, sweet. So we got Wild Rose Whiskey and we've got our homepage copy here. And so what I could do is I could just copy this right here and put it into our Notion board. Now, what I might wanna do here is you can test to see how, how AI generated this really is or maybe how original it is. And that's something we wanna look out for when we're building our sites and creating our copy with AI. You can't just copy it verbatim because ah, it might not be totally original. So I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna paste it here in a GPT output detector. <laughs> in this one, it's mostly, you know, fake, I guess. It's just, it's really AI generated sounding and that's not what we wanted. So what you'd probably wanna do here is you can just go through and just make this more original, use your own voice, switch things up, use different words. You can also use a paraphrasing tool like Quillbot and paste it in there. And so it looks like we've got too many words. So maybe I will just take something out here. Let's paraphrase this and see what it comes up with. And okay, so it's generated a paraphrased version here and we can play with this. We can rephrase certain things. We can change how much or how little it paraphrases. So for example, let's just copy what we got here, put it back in our GP2 output detector. And now it's 99.6% real. <laughs> and that was just one pass. I mean, we can even ask uh, chat GPT to like rephrase this with more human language and maybe even create some grammatical errors. All right, so we've got our AI generated summary based on the Quillbot and we're going back and forth here. I already feel like this sounds too AI sounding. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, shorten this, always spell whiskey with an E and give it more attitude. I want more attitude again. All right, so this sounds pretty cool at first glance. Let's see what our detector says about it. So that 99.38% real. That sounds good to me. I'm gonna save that to our Notion board with our copy. So there it is right there. I'm loving it. I like it. All right, so now what I wanna do is I wanna utilize AI, artificial intelligence, specifically ChatGPT, to help us come up with a few product ideas for our whiskey site. So create a list of 10 products to add to my e-commerce site. Brilliant, so it's got 10 products here, all different takes on whiskey. We've got aged 12 year single barrel. We've got cask strength, we've got spiced rye, we've got liqueur, whiskey stones, whiskey glasses, cocktail mixer, very cool. Now, I want to create product descriptions for each of these products. So watch this. All right, so create some short product descriptions for those five different whiskeys that we came up with using artificial intelligence. All right, so here are the product descriptions. How about this? What if we want some article ideas for content? We, we need someone to, we need some ideas for our content. Let's just quickly do that right now. Create a list of 10 blog article ideas for the website. Now this is great because it'll spit out some ideas and then we can use that as writing prompts. And you can have your writer, your content writer, or yourself to write these pieces out. Now watch this. So we've got 10 blog, or blog article ideas for our whiskey site. Five reasons why Canadian rye is the best whiskey you're not drinking yet. That is really cool. How to taste whiskey like a pro. Pairing Canadian rye with food, a beginner's guide. Visiting, visiting Canada's whiskey trail. Is there a whiskey trail here? Maybe there is. Canadian rye versus scotch versus bourbon. What's the difference? This is good. This is good stuff. Copying this. These are great article ideas. I'm gonna put that in our blog here. There are our topics. Now what we're gonna do, we've got our content, we've got our site map, we've got our blog article ideas, we've got our product ideas, we've got our descriptions for the product ideas, all assisted with artificial intelligence, making sure the content is original with plagiarism checkers, originality checkers, spicing it up, changing up the way that you ask ChatGPT to create your content. Okay, so we've got our duckies in a row. Now what we need to do is move over into mid journey for AI art. We need to create some assets. We need to create some mock-up concepts. We need to we need to have some inspiration to work with. All right, so it's here in mid journey that we can start generating our designs or mock-ups or graphics or assets. Lots of really cool things you could do with mid journey. It's a very, creative tool and it's really only limited by your imagination and also your ability to know what prompts to write. So the way I'm gonna go about this here for our whiskey brand is to 
maybe start with some inspiration of an existing whiskey website or whiskey brand or some sort of vibe that I like. And we're gonna make a screenshot. We're just gonna take a screenshot and use that as a part of our prompt. And that should help give us a bit of a, a starting point with Mid Journey to give it some direction. The more specific you are, the better, is what I've learned with Mid Journey. If you are vague and you are giving vague prompts, you basically leave a lot of room for randomization. And maybe that gives you cool, really creative results, but it might also not be what you're looking for. So the more specific, the more detailed the prompt, the better. So the way we're gonna do this is I'm gonna go to awards.com and search for some e-commerce sites. All right, I found it. It's called Oak and Eden by Elva Agency. Very cool, I like this style, I like the monospace font. Let's open up the site itself and take a look here and see what makes this whiskey website and what makes it e-commerce and what makes this brand stand out to me. I love the font choice, very kind of Western. Um, the, the color palette, everything's kind of, I don't know, it's got a caramel feel to it, creamy, it's kind of light, but it's also very sophisticated. Loving the vibe, loving the typography, love the style, color palette's great. We've got slight animations. Buttons are nice. Ooh, nice hover interaction on the button there. That's nice. In bottle finishing. Featured flavors. I love this. We've got the we've got our our marquee or our ticker tape. We've covered how to do that on this channel in a in a video or two here. Bourbon. I, I really like the names. The names are something that stands out here. We've got cocktails. That's good to know. Cocktail recipes. Okay. That's content ideas. Wheated bourbon meets American honey available for a limited time only. Shop wheat and honey. Okay, so we got like actor collaborations here. Okay, I love it. It's going for the real cowboy, whiskey, oak and Eden, rugged. We're we're out in the Montana. Heck, let's go up to Alberta. Let's take a Canadian. We're out just in the foothills, just just with the Rockies, just beyond. You know, when you had a hard day galloping along the cowboy trail and you're thinking you know what i need right now i need a whiskey oak and eat finish with hard work gratitude drop man yeah i felt that i felt that okay i got what i needed from this site i infused inspiration from this site i got what i needed so here's what i'm gonna do i could have just skipped right to this part i'm gonna take a screenshot of this right here Boom, took the screenshot. Now I'm gonna head over to Discord, which is what connects to Mid Journey. But here's a really cool thing that you can do. You can take that screenshot, upload it to Mid Journey, get the image and watch this. I'm gonna upload it by just adding it to the little input here. Upload to Mid Journey bot, okay. Okay, it's uploading. Now what that's gonna do is it's gonna give me a URL so I can actually copy the link of this. Now, here's how we make it work in Mid Journey. Here's what we gotta do. We go forward slash, imagine, paste that URL to start off our prompt. So now it's got the screenshot that I wanna use as a basis for my, for my UI, for my design. What I would do here is write out a prompt. And I think a way to do it would be something like, web design or, or website landing page, maybe website design, that's it, for a uh, whiskey brand, let's say caramel color, cowboy, mountains, wood, manly, UI, UX, e-commerce, I don't know if that's gonna work or not, black, sophisticated, sophisticated and cowboy, like an oxymoron, I'm not sure. Mm, and now we're gonna add some parameters. So forward slash, or dash dash. I learned this from a comment here on the channel. Thanks for um, for the commenter who let me know that you could do this. You can go dash dash no, and then the keyword that you don't want it to include. So no mock-up. So that means like, I don't want it to like give me a picture of a website inside of a picture frame on a wall next to a man drinking whiskey. Like I want it to be just like, give me the graphic. So no mock-up, dash dash, AR for aspect ratio, three colon two, which is three by two, which is kind of like how we want it to display. 
Let's run with that. Let's see what happens. That's kind of cool. We can see the mountains in the back. This one's neater. It's got better lighting. A silhouette in the back. We got a cowboy on this one looking at his oddly wide shaped glass. And then this one here. I think my favorite is the second one. Let's create a variation on number two. So I'm going to click V2, which is variation on number two. It's going to give me four variations on number two. Okay. These are pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take number one and I'm going to upscale it. So I'm going to click U1 to upscale number one. It's going to give me a higher resolution image of the first one. So I'm going to take that upscaled image and I'll bring it into Photoshop and I'll eliminate and get rid of any of the user interface elements and text that it put on the image so that I could use the image just in and of itself. The other way I like doing this is just feeding a prompt to mid journey and not asking for a UI UX, you know, assets at all. And just asking for, you know, whiskey on a table, caramel colored background, orange peel. All right, so that is looking better. And then obviously we've got this weird stuff around the outside. So we'll just crop it to only include the good parts of the image. And there it is. So we're going to save that image. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move back to mid journey and I'm going to get it to create some products for us so that we have some some items to display. And I want to use one of these products as inspiration again. So I'm going to copy the image address for this image. I'm going to say imagine there's the image and then we're going to go for realistic whiskey bottle, white background, maybe black background, shadows, rich caramel color, and then AR two by two. I think I could do that. Oh, very nice. All right. I'm liking number four. Ah, number two is nice too. Nice lighting. Let's go with number two and we're going to create variations on number two. Oh, very cool. Okay. I think that number two is very impressive and appealing. Number three is nice too. Let's go with upscaling number two. So let's call this one our 12 year single barrel rye. But let's say we also want one that's like beside like a, a, a maple leaf. Let's do that rye whiskey. So we're going to get another one of these. We're going to say imagine realistic whiskey bottle, black background, shadows, rich caramel color, um, sitting beside a maple leaf. All right. What do we got here? Oh, cool. So this one's got like a whisk, like the whiskey with the maple leaf on the glass. This one's also got one hanging from it. So we're going to create actually a variation on number three. I'm going to grab an upscaled version of one of these bottles, and then we'll go ahead and download that. All right, so now we got all of our images and our assets that we're going to need. Now I could create more with Midjourney. I can create a decanter. I can create a beer bottle. I can create whiskey glasses. I can create whiskey stones. I can create all these mock-ups to use for our, our for our product images and any other imagery that we might need to either start with or just to use on the site. And now what we're going to do is we're going to move over into Editor X. That's my favorite web creation platform that lets you build beautiful, responsive websites with no code. And we're going to be taking what we have so far from our content and our imagery, all assisted with artificial intelligence. And we're going to build out an e-commerce site right now. Let's do it. All right. Editor X site, go to editor And that's going to create a new editor X site. If you don't have an editor X account, it's free. Go to editor sign up, and then just type editor in the browser URL bar. And it just spins up a new site really quick. Now that's, if you want to start fresh, that's usually what I do when I start fresh. Now, if you want to use a template or if you want to use something to help give you some inspiration, I highly recommend using Editor X's template library or the wireframe template library. Let me show you that. So here's the template library right here, but I'm going to go to wireframes. And this is great because it doesn't give you any images or assets or copy that might muddy up your inspiration or muddy up your the vibe or the style you're going for. You just need a layout to work with. And that's what I'm going to do here. So there's lots of different layout options here. And it's all there for you just to start working with. And I want to go with this e-commerce theme right here. You could check it out. You could sample it, check out a demo. This to me looks like I can work with this. I think this could work quite well. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this template. It's going to fire up a new site with this template as our basis. 
Now, here we go. We've got everything here. We've got our layers. We've got our pages set up. So this template is all ready to go. In fact, it's already an e-commerce theme. So it's gonna be even easier for us to start adding products to our site. So the way that I like to start with Editor X is with our site styles. That's our global styles, our typography, our colors, page transitions. And I like to make sure that all that's taken care of because once you do it that first, it'll apply to the whole site, any new elements, assets, compositions that you create. So that's the first thing I wanna do. I want some neat typography here. So for my headers, I'm gonna go ahead and choose something that I think will match the brand I'm going for. Okay, I actually kind of like this space grotesque. Cool monospace font, that's what I'm gonna be using. Now next is the colors. We need a color palette that's gonna work for our whiskey brand. So why don't we go back to ChatGPT and see if it can come up with some colors that we can use as a bit of a primary color, something that we can hinge onto. All right, create a color palette for this website providing hex codes. And let's say a dramatic color palette. I just see if that works. All right, so we've got rich caramel, rustic brown, black magic, dark oak, whiskey gold, graphite. Okay, so copper mountain, smoky gray. So we got some options here. We'll keep it real simple with these top three palettes. That works for me. Now what I need to do is, well, let's start adding our imagery. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now, all right? And I'm gonna grab that hero image, change the background, and I want that height to be much taller than that. The text, we can't quite read it there. So that's gonna need to be white, all right? Now we need a good headline. All right, so we've got our copy deck here. We don't actually have a headline, so let's ask ChatGPT to give us a cool headline. And now this button, can't quite see it, so we're gonna change this button to use our color from our color palette. It's gonna be that gold. All right, now we're on to something. What I wanna do is update this logo. I'm just gonna use this text here. Maybe I'll just change the font. Now that is what I'm talking about. I love it. Wild Rose Whiskey Co. Let's even go one step further. We're gonna add an element here and we're gonna go to decorative. Let's see if we could find ourselves some vector art. We're gonna add that here. We're gonna bring it up, attach it to the header. We're gonna stack those, make sure they're aligned nicely. All right, so now we're just shaping up our header here. It's looking pretty good. All right, we're looking pretty good here. Now, we've got our header. We've got our call to action. This is looking nice. We need to add some products so that we can start populating the site to include our best sellers, to include our items. Let's do that. All right, so I'm gonna to go to my pages here in Editor X, and I'm gonna to go to the shop. We have no products here, so what we need to do is manage our products. So let's go ahead and do that, manage our products here in our e-commerce content manager. I'm gonna go ahead and add our products that ChatGPT helped us come up with. We stored it in our content deck here. So we've got our Canadian rye whiskeys. So we've got our accessories. So I'm gonna go ahead and add those in. All right, so I've added some products here with their pricing, their descriptions, their images. And these are just a few items, but it only takes a few minutes here in Editor X. You can do everything from the type of product it is, shipping information, the SKU, the description, any other additional info, pricing, if it's on sale, you can do things like your margin, so you can calculate your margin based on your sales, how much profit you're making. So it's all here. We've categorized it based on what category we think is, is relevant. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go back to our site. All right, let's, let's change this up and let's finish up this homepage, make it look perfect. Here it is, unleash the wild, bold and rich, wild rose whiskey. Got our best sellers. Check out the entire shop. We've got our story. We've got our tasting events, maybe even our blog we can put in here as well. We got join our newsletter, get those blog posts. Amazing. And then when you shop, you can check out our products. You could click through, open up the product page. You can add it to cart, you can buy it now. Re return and refund policy, shipping info. We've got everything that we need right here on our Editor X site that we built with no code, very simply, very easily with the help of AI.
All right, friends, there it is. We built the site, we have our products, and it just goes to show that these tools, these AI tools, they're not going away. If anything, we're just at the very beginning of what I think is possible. Let me know in the comments what you think about AI, what you think about Editor X. If you have any questions or comments about these videos, any suggestions for videos that you'd like me to create, let me know. Also join us in the Creative X crew to continue the discussion, get feedback on your work, and join a community of other professional creative designers and freelancers who are making a living, doing work they love, building stuff and sites for clients on the internet. Links in the description below. I'll see you in the next video.